If you've ever wondered the difference between Redford and Blueford, let me demonstrate. Hey, Blueford. Yeah. What do you see? Uh, this is an abstract, boss. It's not about what I see, but how it makes me feel. It's about the technique, about the artist's place in the history. Redford? Uh. What do you see? Jane picking his nose. <laughs> This is Abstract Academy, a pattern building area control game. You are fellow art students hoping to show off your art skills to score top marks with your professors. Oh, I got this. The twist is you're sharing a canvas with your opponent. Oh, brilliant. The game is played over three rounds. To start, Everyone draws a hand of three canvas cards. These are the cards you will be placing to create your shared masterpiece. The canvas cards are divided into four quadrants. Each quadrant is either blue, Boo. red, such a basic color, or yellow. Every color is amazing. Shut up, Shane. When you place a card, a quadrant must be orthogonally adjacent to another quadrant. This will create color areas, which is important for scoring. Oh, can I go first? No, no, I want to go first. Actually, whoever goes first is the teacher's pet. Shane! At the start of each round, each player draws an inspiration card. This is a private objective with a pattern. Whenever you complete this pattern, you may reveal this card at the end of a round to claim its points. In round one, you'll draw and lay out one assignment card of each color. This is how you'll score at the end of the round. Then you'll take turns placing a card and drawing a card. You must place all cards in the same orientation. The canvas will develop as you place cards, but it must constrain to a 4x4 four four grid for two players and a 5x5 five five for four. Once complete, it will look like this. Your scoring zone will be the two rows closest to you. Also, once the row closest to you is defined, it is your home row, and your opponent cannot place any cards there. A round ends when you complete the grid, 16 cards in a two-player game. After round one, you'll score your inspiration card if you choose to reveal it, then claim assignment cards from left to right, only one player can claim each card. If there's a tie, the teacher's pet claims it. Shame! Next, you pick up all the canvas cards, shuffle them, and go to round two. All rounds play the same way, but you'll put out new scoring cards. For round two, you lay out two professor cards, and in round three, one professor card and two assignment cards of any color. At the end of round three, total your score from all claimed cards. Highest score wins. In case of a tie, everyone wins. No, the player who claimed the most professor cards wins. If there's still a tie, everyone wins. Actually, the teacher's pet wins. Jane! There are rules changes for four players, and those are in the rule book. Oh, Chief, I get it now. How to play the game? No, 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 the art. It's not about what I see, but how it makes me feel. And this one makes me feel amazing, proud, a picture of bravery. Actually, it's a picture of you. Oh, I know. Your entire life is nothing but a tomfoolery. My name's not Tom. It was gonna be Tom. What a baboon.